Welcome to this XMAP Tools tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to import images directly into XMAP Tools using the new add-on system. For example, this backscatter image. So for that, we need to run XMAP Tools first and then go to the menu File Add-ons Manage Extension. And from that extension manager, you can download any add-on that is available on the server. For example, image2txt, click download, and then you have the add-on installed. You can select stack map, download, and inst it installs the add-on. We can close the extension manager and go back to XMAP Tools. And now the add-ons are directly available. So we need first to import a map that is an electron micropro map, in this case silicon, quickly goes through the import tool, activate the date time correction and then press apply. So now we have this silicon map and as you can see, the problem is that the backscatter image has a different size and a different resolution. The first step is to use img to take the to transform this bitmap image into a text file. So I just in XMAP tools press apply. And then here I can select the file I want to convert, that is this one, open, and the program will make the conversion. What you can do is you can adjust the minimum and the maximum values. In this case, I'm going to use between 0 and 255. This is how we want to save this image. So let's keep the same name, and now it will be a text file. So what we have is we have the original image, that's the original image, and that's the one we export, and now you see we have values ranging from 0 to 250. Let's close everything there. But still, the orientation of the image is not the same, and that's where we have to use the second add-on, Stack Maps, to solve this problem. Let's press Apply. So in Stack Map, here you can select the first image, it's silicon, you can adjust the color map if you want, and then we import the new map, that is this one, open, and we quickly change the color map to black and white. This is a backscatter image. So first we see the orientation is not correct, so I quickly rotate the image, and here we are, we have the same orientation. But now we need to resize this image to fit the microprobe map. For that we need to select reference points. And first we select three reference points in the microprobe image. I'm going to go to this point here, for example. Then I'm going to have one close to the albite. It's this point. And then I can have one point somewhere down here, let's say at the top. So now that the points are selected, we need to select the same points on this image. When you click on this one, you will see that it zooms, so you can directly oh, adjust the position of this point. This is the first one, then we have the second point that is somewhere here, and the third reference point that is somewhere here. And then we can validate and save the transformation that we just made. This is transformation, and we press OK. So now we can take the reference map, silicon, the deform map that is our backscatter image and apply the transformation to correct the orientation and the resolution of the image. And this is the final image that you obtain. And you can save this image as a matrix here by selecting in this menu, save, OK, and we will call it backscatter image BSC. And save. All matrix saved, you can close stack map and come back to XMAP tools. And then the normal procedure to import maps and we select BSC, OK. And now what we have is a backscatter image that is directly available in XMAP tools. And you can do pixel by pixel and compare this with uh, silicon using the normal procedure. So this allows you to import any kind of image or maps directly into XMAP tools and superpose with the compositional maps. Okay, thank you for watching and see you soon for a new tutorial.